it's been a minute, so I thought it might be fun to check in with DC Comics and see if maybe they're changing their strategy up. Now, as you know, for a while now, the only way a DC comic book can make its way to the top 50 chart over on ICV2 is if it has Batman in it. Now, some detractors have pointed out that, sure, after number 50 to 200, there's some DC comic books. Like at 116, you might find a copy of, of Green Arrow or something. But the hilarious, the hilarious point that I want to make is once you go past 50, in fact, even some of these comics above 50 are only... Like, in this range right here from 39 to 50, these are probably, I don't know, 30 to 20 to 15,000 books shipped. So when you get down to a book on the 60 or the 70 mark, those books are only selling probably about six to 12,000 <laughs> comics. It's the books up here on the top... 30 that really make the money. But let's take a look at the evidence here. Batman at number three, Dark Knights of Steel at number 19, Detective Comics at 21 and 23, and 27, Joker at 25, Nightwing at 33, Batman the Knight at 36, Detective Comics again at 38, Robin and Batman at 39, and then, of course, Superman, Son of Kal-El at number six. After... It was up here, <laughs> like in the top ten, for its uh, for its for his coming out party. He was up there in the top ten, and then it dropped down to forty two, because obviously nobody gives a shit about Superman, son of Kal. But they tried to sell it based on woke identity politics, and it didn't work. So the only character that people seem to really give a shit about at DC Comics is Batman. Now, I know you're saying, well, Nightwing's not Batman, right? But it's in the Nightwing, it's in the Batman family. Joker in the Batman family, right? All these all these books involve Batman or a Batman under the Batman umbrella character. It's a character under the Batman umbrella. Nobody cares about any other characters. Now, Marvel doesn't have that problem. X-Men, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Moon Knight, Silver Surfer. Mary Jane even sells <laughs> Star Wars, Doctor Strange, Elektra, uh, Marauders, Strange Academy, Avengers, like a bunch of their characters sell books. So DC Comics is in a bad place. So how I can tell how unhealthy that company is is by what they're doing, what new books they're announcing. And it's, of course, more Batman. <laughs> this is from a few days ago. But I just saw this and I laughed. Uh, Batman Fortress number one of eight covers, by the way. So, you know, they're trying to take advantage of people buying multiple issues of it. It's actually kind of a cool concept. Uh, an alien invasion of Earth. And Batman has to stop it. So, Batman versus UFOs and aliens, by the way. Like, uh, Superman is missing. All the other characters are missing. So, it's Batman versus aliens interesting idea that's probably been done before in fact i think it has been done before but you know as long as it's good who cares but my point is you have this and then there's even this batman superman world's finest so they're bringing this back i thought that was already a thing but now they're going to use batman to try to crutch up superman and then there's also this batman killing time this is announced like, these are all books being announced. Like, there's nothing else. It's all Batman shit. And it should really tell you where this company is. Like, they're desperately putting more Batman books out so that their bottom line comes, so they can make more money, right? But I don't know about Batman fatigue right now. I don't know where things are. People are obviously, I mean, buying Batman books for the fact that, like, so many of them sell. I would have to think eventually Batman fatigue will set in. Like, how many Batman books can you read a month? How many of them are actually good? I think what I'm going to do is for one month buy every Batman book and read them all and see which ones are good. Maybe that's something I'll do next month. And I'll, I'll judge the quality of each issue. Like, where that? Because 
I, I would be willing to bet that not all of these books are good. Just a guess. Just a guess. <laughs> uh, their, their biggest thing coming up is this event, Dark Crisis, where they kill off the Justice League, right? All of their popular characters, including Batman. And they're going to try to prop up uh, the LBGTQ Justice League and see if that will sell finally. Like, I don't think, I don't think it will. I think this event will sell. I think people will be curious. I think, you know, it's, what is it, six issues or whatever, seven issues. Uh, it's got it's got good art. The art looks fantastic in it, but I don't think that this is going to make these characters popular. Now, it won't really matter too much because they're trying to sell all these characters as dead, but yet you can still buy 15 Batman books. So I just, it seems like DC is in a really desperate place and, I'm really just, it, it's kind of sad. Like, these are, this is a legacy company and a lot of really great stories and characters over there, and they just don't know what to do. I mean, I think the easiest advice I could give them is to, you know, maybe follow and look at what manga's doing, but they just seem to just keep quadrupling down on identity politics and wokeism, and it's killing the company. It'll be really interesting to see where DC Comics is in one year. Are, is this strategy of selling 75 Batman books still going to help them in a year? Will Batman fatigue kill them? I, I think it's really, I think it's a real problem that this company has. Marvel doesn't seem to have the same problem. As much as I don't like modern Marvel, you can't say that their characters, like people are still appeal, like Thor's in there. Like, Look at where Thor is. Thor's at number nine. Venom, Hulk, Hulk's up there, She-Hulk, Spawn Scorched, wow, that's crazy, you know, I, Marvel's not having this problem, but DC is, so I don't know what they're going to do, they better hope to God that Batman movie is awesome, because if it's not, I don't know, man, anyway, that's pretty much it, let me know what your thoughts are, also, would you please consider subscribing? Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Share the video. Comment, like, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.